A couple of days ago, while in process, some clarity came to me about the difference between letting go and surrender. And frequently, I thought that I probably thought those were the same thing. And maybe they are, but energetically, for me, I found out that there's something different. And so this poem is about letting go and then surrendering. And the letting go part is more representative of the two years of where I was in my life before coming to Sunrise. And the last part is about the almost year that I've spent here so far. So, letting go. There was a time, a time of letting go. That was a time of really wondering what it was like on the other side. That was a time of not remembering what the fullness of life felt like. That was a time of releasing all that had seemed important and fulfilling. There was no space for joy. There was no space for love. There was no space for anticipation and no space for the future. For me, letting go was about planning only to let go of even more. It was about losing the juice of life and feeling only wishfulness. Letting go was about releasing all that had seemed important and not filling a place of desire with anything at all. That was letting go. That was that time. And now, surrender. Now it's a time of surrender. Surrender itself brought with it its own special power. Because surrender is about embracing the belief that there is something divine in and around me. Surrender is about fullness and richness. It's the flow of energy that is free and is blissful. Surrender is about simply knowing that the value of life is always in the embracing of it, not in the control of it. Surrender is about the release of life into the stream of grace and trust and faith in all that you have sensed in your quietness and your most balanced moments. Surrender is the fulfillment of a dream. It's the dream that came before this existence. The dream that said, I will be. And only in that being will I then do. For the doing is meant to flow forth from the being. Surrender is the allowing of that experience to unfold like a flower, slowly, elegantly, with grace and ease. And then ultimately, to close again in its own special way and go back to that from whence it came once the journey is fulfilled. Surrender is true life.